Today, we're gonna be doing 100 food hacks and we're gonna attempt to do it in 24 hours. Jessica, you gotta do half and I'll do the other half. Got it. All right, let's split up, go. Starting with the first one, watermelon juice. So you're gonna make a small incision at the top. I want it to be kind of clean. So you take the top off like that and you're gonna grab a hand blender and you're gonna put it back in here and start blending the watermelon. That looks insane. Tell me that doesn't look refreshing. We're gonna throw some ice spice in there to make it cool and grab our straw and let's try our watermelon juice. Freaking insane. Oh my gosh, this is a 10 of 10. The next hack is cutting cake with something you already have at home. We get our floss, unflavored please. No one wants minty cake. Just gonna go right in. Oh my God, this is easier than a knife. Next, you grab your plate, slide our piece of cake. Looks good. Open wide. Mm. All right, guys. Supposedly, soy sauce and popcorn is a good combo, and it tastes good. I don't know about that one, but oh, why is it like sizzling? Here we go. Mm -mm. Maybe this is one where like certain people would like it, certain people won't. I'm not a fan of it. To get the perfect scoop of ice cream, you take your ice cream out of the freezer 20 minutes before serving. Let's see if this will be the perfect scoop. <gasps> would you look at that? It's a Big scoop. Oh my god! I would say this is a perfect scoop. Coke and root beer makes Dr. Pepper. I'm not sure how true this is, but I am a Dr. Pepper stan. All right, we got Coke, root beer. That seems like a fair ratio to me. Let's see if this tastes like Dr. Pepper. It tastes more like root beer. Fail. If you wanna make a creamsicle inspired drink, all you need is heavy whipping cream and Fanta. We're gonna throw some heavy whipping cream in there. I think that's about enough. Fanta. Oh yes. Look at that. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's legit. We got some beautiful, pleasant peanut butter and jelly sandwiches here. Do you wanna make them uncrustable? All you need is a cup. Put it and press it down in the middle like that. <laughs> Boom, you just made a peanut butter and jelly uncrustable. Look at that, bro. Oh my gosh. This is an easier way to cut an avocado. So we're gonna go the traditional way, all the way around. And now, we're gonna go this way. How many of you guys have actually done this? <gasps> See how easy it is? It comes right out of the pit. Dude, look at that. Beautiful, and you don't need to the pit. This is an easy way to eat chips without getting your hands dirty. So you're gonna make a small incision here and do it on the other side. And then you're gonna cut on the top, just like that. So the two corners that you cut, you're actually gonna turn them inside out, just like that. And now you're gonna use these pieces pretty much as finger gloves. Put them on your index finger and thumb, and now you go for it. No cheesy fingers. Our next hack is a potato and an apple slicer. If you wanna make thick cut potato fries, take your apple slicer. Bro. Okay guys, the table's gonna break, so we're gonna move this over here. We got it. Tell me this doesn't look like a good french fry. All right guys, if you have a hard shell taco, here's a hack to have it stand up easier while you put all your ingredients in it. And all you need is a fork. Just gonna put it through like that, set it down, voila, just like that. It's commonly known you're not supposed to eat the skin of a fruit, but with kiwis, you actually can. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is how you vacuum seal a Ziploc bag with anything inside. So we have this lovely bathtub filled, and what you're gonna wanna do is close about 80% of it, have some of it open right here. You're gonna dip it in the water, and the further you go, the more tight it gets. So let's see how this works. Oh, yo, look at it. It's actually tightening up. Close this up all the way. Yo! By the way, you don't have to fill up a bathtub for it. I just thought it would be cool. If you don't want to water down your drinks, all you gotta do is make ice cubes with your drink of choice. So I made Sprite ice cubes. Okay. And now you have pure Sprite. All right, guys, we're gonna make a fruit roll-up sushi roll with Nerds gummy clusters. So you're gonna unwrap this thing. All right, we're gonna perform some surgery here. Take some of these. Going down the line here. The more sugar, the better. It's time to roll up. Oh, bruh. So this wasn't a part of the hack, but I think chamoy on something like this would just hit, so. Here we go, fruit roll-up sushi with soy sauce. That was the soy sauce. That is insane. I feel like one bite of this is 10 cavities. Get this out of my face. This is an easy way to store your pancake mix. You make your mix, you store it in the fridge, and anytime you want pancakes, look how easy this is. 
Perfect pancakes every time. Salt can help keep your drink cool. So we're gonna pour some salt on a plate. Place the can like that. We're gonna add some more salt around to keep it cool. While we wait for that, let me tell you guys about G Fuel's Black Friday sale going on right now. You can buy one energy tub, get one free. This year's BOGO actually includes an exclusive flavor called Grandma's Apple Pie, and it legit tastes like real apple pie. Not only can you finally try Chug Rug, but you can mix and match any two flavors with no code necessary. If you've been living under a rock and don't even know what G Fuel is, it's a sugar-free alternative for an energy drink, and it's packed with antioxidants and vitamins. Click the link in the description and shop G Fuel's buy one, get one free sale. And now, let's see if this kept my drink cool. Oh my gosh, wait. It actually feels a lot cooler. This definitely works. So this is a quick and easy way to take the stems out of your strawberry. All you need is your strawberries and a straw. We're gonna take the straw, put it at the end of the strawberry, and oh, poke the stem right out. It worked. It's a hot summer day. You're enjoying a nice popsicle, but it's getting a little messy. I got a hack for you. So you're gonna take a cupcake liner and your popsicle. So you're gonna make a hole through the cupcake liner just like that. And now when you eat your popsicle, anything that melts gets caught in this. And you could probably drink it after. An easier way of cutting vegetables, take your veggies, a rubber band, you tie them together. You can see how they're all bunched up now. Easy. When you are eating Oreos and you finish the middle row, you can now use it to put your milk to make it easier to dip. Don't know who thinks of this and don't know who would do it, but, oh wait, hold up. All right, I take that back. That's actually cool. This is a fast and easy way to separate the yolks from the whites. Crack our eggs. Next thing you need is a water bottle. We're gonna take the lid off, squeeze the air out, and then we're gonna go right to the yolk. Oh, no way, it worked, it worked. We got the whites and we got the yolks. Success. If you microwave a lemon, you get more juice out of it. So this is not microwaved. Pretty much everything. Here's the other half to that, so we can get a fair estimate. Perfect. This is how much juice you get from a regular lemon without it being microwaved. Now this is a microwave lemon. Here we go. That already looks like less from the first half. Come on. Oh, wait, hold up. No, does that look like it has more? Yeah, a little bit more. I guess it works. This is a cool way to present chips and salsa at a get together. All you need is a big bowl, a cup. We're gonna take our tortilla chips, pour them around the glass. And now, you have a designated spot for your salsa. Doesn't that look so pretty? This is the most efficient way to make a deli sandwich. You're gonna grab some turkey. That's my choice of meat. You're gonna wanna cut it down the middle. All right, there we go. When you have it like this, you're gonna wanna put it like this on one side, another one on this side, another one right here, and last but not least, just like that. So now you've filled up the entire bread rather than just putting one in the middle. And as you can see, the corners are still bread. You wanna fill it up with turkey. So this is a great way to make a deli sandwich. Ice cream sandwich with a pint of ice cream. Beautiful. Chocolate chip cookies, elite. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Supposedly you could make popcorn out of real corn. So we took off a kernel right here and we're gonna put it in a flat iron like that. So I know this actually works with real popcorn kernels, but I wonder if it works with corn. I think we got a fail, guys. It definitely doesn't turn into popcorn. Supposedly, coffee and orange juice make a good combination. Take our orange juice. Cheers, mate. It's actually not bad. Hot Cheetos and cream cheese is good together. I can actually see this being good. It's bomb. Is it? Yeah. You really tried it? Yeah. All right. Am I doing the walk for this, though? You are. Yo! When you run out of Nutella, instead of throwing this away, we're gonna make chocolate hazelnut milk. Pour it in, shake it up. Ooh. Let's do a taste test. Oh my God, that is so good. All right, this next one, I don't expect anyone in the world to ever do, but you're gonna need a toilet seat. You can put your head through like this. It could make for a good pizza holder. Yeah, you could fit a pizza on here. Now you look cool. You have a toilet seat with pizza on it. Dude, ah, it hurts your neck though. Does it look cool? Yeah. 21. <laughs> this next hack is a switch up on the traditional way of making s'mores. So instead of Hershey's chocolate, we have Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay, you take one graham cracker, break it in half. You take a marshmallow down, put the Reese's down. Oh, that looks fire. Would you guys try this? Oh. 
There are so many different ways to use a ketchup packet. Some people like to tear here, but then it just kind of ends up like that. And it's just like, what are you doing? You know, like you want to put it like that. That's kind of annoying. The way I like to do it, push all the ketchup towards the bottom and you just cut the top right about yonder. You take a French fry and you just dip it just like that. And look at how much more ketchup you get. Super easy, super efficient. For our next hack, we are gonna make chicken parm nuggets. So we have our dino nuggies. You need pizza sauce. Pour it over, oh yeah. Give these a good mix. And then you load it up with cheese. You can never have too much cheese. You microwave these for 30 seconds. 30 seconds on the clock, go. This looks fire. Taste test time. Oh my God, that looks so good. If you want to make some fresh pomegranate juice, juice, oh my god. If you guys want to make some fresh pomegranate juice, all you're going to need is a food flavor injector and your fresh pomegranate. Going to fill this bad boy up. Once you have the pomegranate in, you're going to put this back in. The moment of truth. This is the one I was excited for the most, but it looks like it doesn't really work. So this is a hack to easily eat Oreos without making a mess. All you need is a fork. Take your Oreo and you put the fork in the white stuff. Oh yeah. <gasps> it works. This is an easier way to butter your toast. So you take chapstick and you empty it out and you kind of jam it in there. So now you have your butter chapstick. You just butter your toast. This is actually useful for me because I really don't know how to do it with a butter knife. Success. We have another hack to keep your fingers clean, you take chip bag clips, you take your wings, and you eat. Mm. If you're ever stranded in the middle of nowhere, but you so happen to have a lighter and Doritos, you can create a fire out of the Doritos. Don't know the scenario you'd be in to make that happen, but let's see if it actually lights on fire. Oh, 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 you can actually start a fire with Doritos. Keep you warm, and then if you still have the bag next to you, Eat some while you're enjoying the fire and warm your hands up. We're gonna see if fruit by the foot is really three feet long. I have my handy dandy measuring tape. Okay, let's lay it out. Let's see, right there. Oh, there's three feet, but we're gonna give it to them because if you look over here, it's folded. If you were to unfold this, it would be three feet. Thank you, Fruit by the Foot. Coke and Hershey syrup taste super good, supposedly. All right, we're gonna do a nice little design in the cup. What are we thinking on that one? Oh, there you go. Literally looks like chocolate milk at the top. Cheers. That is so good. 10 out of 10. So we have grapes on a skewer, pop it in the freezer, and it makes for the perfect snack. No, it's all you. No, I don't eat cold things. Oh. Fire, really good. So everyone thinks this plastic in the middle of the pizza is supposed to just stop the cardboard from touching the pizza, when in reality- It's a tape. No, it's not. In reality, this is actually used to separate your pizza and not touch anyone else's. So if I want this slice right here, instead of touching that pizza, what you can do is you press down on this, you pull yours just like that, then you put this in the other one it's attached to, and just like that, I separated my pizza without touching others. We are gonna turn regular sandwich bread into a sub roll. Take your slice of bread, a roller, roll it nice and flat. Now, you fold it like a sub. We're gonna plop it into our toaster to hold its form. Now we wait. Okay, our sub roll is ready. Let's see if it worked. It worked! Now, you can fill this up with your favorite ingredients and eat it like this. Have you ever wanted a Capri Sun Popsicle? Well, if you put a Capri Sun in the freezer for eight hours, now we got a Popsicle. Gonna cut the top off. Wow, that tastes so much better. This hack is a simple way to make pizza at home. You need bread, pizza sauce, cheese, and a toaster. We're gonna assemble our pizza. Nice. Pizza sauce. Who doesn't love extra cheese on their pizza? Okay. You turn your toaster sideways. Put the pizza in our toaster. It's smoking. Is it? Yeah. Nice smell of burnt. Oh! Ooh, guys, it actually got a nice crisp at the bottom. Cheese is a little melty. Taste test. Mm-hmm. 
We are about to make some Big Mac Supreme fries. So you get your average Big Mac, and you're gonna wanna use this box to pour French fries in. Both sides. Take the buns off, and now the fun part. You're gonna wanna rip the patty into pieces and throw it onto the fries. It does get a little messy, I'm not gonna lie, but the result will be good. Now you get the other patty, do the same thing. So now you take your sauce of choice. Some people like the Big Mac sauce. I like ranch. Wow. This came along together better than I thought. You have your Big Mac loaded fries. Here we go. Whoever invented this, thank you for this amazing creation. This is a hack to eat Reese's cups. You turn it into a ball to impress your friends. Okay, you take your Reese's and you form it into a ball in your hands. They're getting somewhere. Does this impress you? It impresses me. This is an easy way to open a can. All you need is a spoon. You just put the spoon through like that. And now... Oh, that's so easy. Let's go. Come on. This is a good way to keep bugs out of your drink, especially during the summertime. Pringles lids actually fit on most cups. So we're going to put our favorite drink of all, Chug Rug. We're going to put some of that in our cup. Me and Brian just chilling on a hot summer day. Mosquitoes, bugs. Is that Brian? Yeah. No. <laughs> keep the bugs out. Great hack. So if you have some leftover spaghetti and it's open, you can actually use a Pringles can to keep it fresh. These are a little bit too tall, so we're gonna break some. Perfect. Now you seal it, and you got fresh spaghetti for the next time you wanna cook. We are taking the basic grilled cheese and dressing it up. So instead of butter on the outside, we're gonna use mayo. This adds more flavor and makes it crispier. You can add mayo on the inside if you're a mayo lover like me. Extra mayo doesn't hurt. We're gonna put a little on the inside, get our cheese, just like that, and then we are going in with mayo. Going in. Our grilled cheese is ready to be flipped. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Listen to that crispy crust. Let's make a Pop-Tart ice cream sandwich. We got the Pop-Tarts, we got the ice cream. All right, close this up, press it down a bit, and you have your Pop-Tart ice cream sandwich. That is actually crazy. We are making pickle Takis. You need pickles, Takis, and a big bowl. Dump out your... You're gonna pour out your pickle juice. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna let these Takis marinate in the pickle juice for a few hours. A few hours later, we have our marinated Takis. We're gonna take our pickles and we are gonna pour all of the juice back into the pickles. Mm. Would you eat this? Honestly, yeah. Now you're gonna put it back in the fridge, let it sit for however long you want and enjoy. If you're cutting vegetables and you have extra scraps, if you put a cut open cereal box under the cutting board, it can catch all the scraps. Let me show you. Cutting my potato down, guys. So if these right here are your scraps, you can just throw them into the cereal box like this. It just makes it easier. I don't really like this hack. Just move your scraps to the side and throw them away after. The next hack is using a peeler to butter your toast. Grab your butter. So I was taking the safety guard off of the peeler and my nail is stuck. Okay, we got our butter. I'm gonna say this is a fail on my end. If you guys are making some mac and cheese and you wanna get all the cheese out of the silver packet, this hack is for you. Pour all the mac and cheese in there. Now you wanna make sure all the cheese is at the bottom and you're gonna take some scissors, cut the top off like that. Take the lid and you're gonna wanna squeeze it right here. Just pull the cheese pack. Just like that. Oh, that's satisfying. There's literally no more cheese in there. Flat, easy. Taking frozen berries and putting them in yogurt takes it to a whole nother level. French vanilla yogurt, and we have our triple berry medley. Let's pour some berries in here. Ooh, give it a nice mixy mix, and let's try it. Oh my God, that is fire. If you drink an espresso shot, supposedly salt makes it less bitter and easier to drink. I don't want to take an entire espresso shot, so I'm gonna just drink a little bit from it, but I'll sprinkle some in there. I think we all know how bitter espresso is, so let's see if this actually works. Oh no, it's horrible. It's actually worse with the salt. <laughs> okay, we have another hack to not get your fingers dirty. We all know what these do to your fingers. Anyways, cheers. If you chew bread while cutting an onion, you won't cry. Also, don't make fun of me for how I cut an onion. 
chewing the bread right now. So far, no tears. I'm not crying. Usually by now, like you'd be crying, right? I'm still good. It's a success. I'm gonna turn this Pringles can into a projector. Not too bad. <laughs> Flashlight, put it into our Pringles can. Put our phase <laughs> logo lid right on top. Please, lights off. Hey. Phase rag, help, we're calling you. What do you guys think of my phase logo? Trash. Success. Hot water makes a jar easier to open. So we got this jar of pickles. This is without it. Oh, shoot. Okay, that took a little bit of effort. You got some hot water right here. Put it just like that. All right, see if it's easier. I feel like it's kind of the same. I didn't feel a difference. A better way of reheating pizza. Screw the microwave. We're gonna add a little bit of water into our pan, just enough to coat the bottom. Medium heat, and we're gonna put our pizzas right in. This is gonna make them much crispier and not soggy like the microwave. Oh my God, that looks fire. So if you're sitting on the floor and you have a drink and you don't wanna risk putting it on the carpet just in case it spills, take off your shoe and you could use it as a cup holder. Look at that, fits perfect. Delicious. An orange pops a balloon. <laughs> I'm scared of this one, yo. <gasps> ah! Ah! Is it gonna pop? Ah! <laughs> I don't understand the science behind this one. Dude, I'm not giving up on this because I've seen, I've seen people do this for sure. Yo! No way. Bruh! It only took an entire orange. I don't know what the hack in that is, but it's cool. All right, guys, we've done 66 food hacks, and honestly, we're freaking exhausted. We want to go to sleep, but for the 34 food hacks we didn't do, we figured we wanted to give $100 to 34 of you watching the video right now. I want you all right now to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, and comment down below what your favorite food hack of the video was, and I'm picking 34 of you to send $100 to. Good job, Jess. Good job, Brian. Peace out, guys.